your children. Now moving on to exercise 8.8, question number 3. They have told you to compare these ratios, right? 3 is to 5 and 5 is to 7. Now there are two ways. Compare means which side is greater. Okay. So we will see both the methods. 3 by 5, uh, 3 is to 5 can also be written as 3 by 5 and 5 is to 7 can also be written as 5 by 7. So let us do cross multiplication method. So cross multiplication method. Okay. In cross multiplication method what do we do is we take the left side numerator and multiply it with the right side denominator that is 3 into 7. Then with the right side numerator, we will multiply the left side denominator. That means this is called cross multiplication method. 5 into 5. Now if you see 3 7s are is 21 and 5 5s are is 25. So you can say this side is bigger. So if this side is bigger means 3 by 5, 5 by 7, this side is bigger. So you can finish it up like this in one step. Some school insist on like fractions giving marks to steps. So in that case, how will you do? 3 by 5 and 5 by 7. So 5 by 7, so the denominators are not same. So to convert into like fractions, we have to take out LCM. Yes, so 5 and 7 LCM is 5 ones are 5, 7 ones are 7, LCM is 5 into 7, which is 35. Okay, always remember children, one more trick. If, they, if the denominators are prime numbers, then their product only will be your LCM, right? Five, seven, 5 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number, so the LCM will be their product. Okay, so you can escape this. Okay, so now 5 denominator has become 35. That means this has become 35. How? By multiplying into 7. That means you have to multiply the numerator also with 7. So it will be 3 7s are 21. Now 7 has become 35. That means 7 5s are has become 35. So you have to multiply the numerator also with 5. 5 5s are 25. Now if you see, they have become like fractions. 21 by 35 and 25 by 35. Now you can easily predict which is greater. If you see the denominators are equal, so 25 is greater. So you can put it like this. And here also you can, in the question also, you can put it like this. So you understood? Let us do one more sum and you can solve it along with me.
what is the ratio of the cows to the buffaloes? Now you might think they are not in the same unit. But they have asked the question itself is ratio of cows to buffaloes. So you don't have to worry. So 80 cows by 30. We have uh, learnt in the previous class that ratio means comparing quantities by division. And 1 0 on top and 1 0 down will get cancelled. Right? I taught you previous class that if there is a 0 on top and 0 down that means you can straight away divide by 10. So, instead of showing this, you can just cancel 10 eights are 80, 10 threes are 30. That's why 1 a 0 in the numerator, 1 0 in the denominator gets cancelled. And one more thing, the order is very important. So, here the first is ratio of cows to buffaloes. So, cows only should come first and buffaloes ratio should come next. Okay. Last question for this class. In a packet of sweets, suppose is a packet of sweets here that means we are telling for every 20 seed the sweets there were four chocolates that means if there are 20 sweets in this in which four are chocolate and the remaining were toffees that means what are these remaining they are all toffees so you can calculate right out of total sweets total sweets is 20. In that chocolates if you minus 4 chocolates that means remaining will be what? Remaining will be toffees. So 20 minus 4, 60. So first you should arrive at this. Okay. Out of in a packet of sweets for every 20 sweets. That means there are so many sweets. Out of which 4 are chocolates. 1, 2, 3, 4. These are chocolates. Then what are remaining? How you will get the remaining toffees? Out of the 20, subtract the chocolates. So that you will get remaining. So remaining is only toffees. Now, what is the ratio of toffees to chocolate? See, now this is very important. Toffees to chocolate. That means you should write toffees number first. This is toffees. 2 chocolate. 2 chocolates. Now how much is chocolates? Sometimes they may ask you chocolates to total sweets also. So the order is important and the uh, reading the question is very important. Now 16 is to 4. How will you write? 16 in the numerator. 4 in the denominator. Now what is the highest uh, factor which will go in both? You can divide it by 2 also. But I am dividing it by 4. and uh, finding the answer in one step. 4 4s are 16. 4, 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So your ratio is 4 is to 1. If you write first 4 and then 16, then your answer would have been 1 by 4. If you have done 4 is to 16 and chocolate is to toffees, so your answer will be wrong. Okay? So that is why ratio of toffees to chocolate. First toffees, then chocolate, and then your ratio. So this is your answer.